hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time you know already you know already my name is Ezine. you're welcome once again to my channel so guys huh, i did a video the last time how i got my german passport and a subscriber was like ah because i detailed everything how i did my hospital here in germany all the information you need to know about getting your german passport very fast and a subscriber wrote in the comment section that what did i study and i promised the subscriber that i'm going to do a video detailing what i studied and everything about it or if you want to do us building in germany here how you go about it how you get your documents ready so guys let's dive right into the video let me start when uh, i want to start us building after my language school so what i did is i have to go to there is a place they used to advise people if you go to that place you will see list of us building you will do and they will tell you all the information you will need about it so i went there they advise me on what to do they ask me what i want to do i explain everything to them so they told me that i have to prepare my um Lebenslauf, my cv that if I prepare my CV that anywhere I want to apply for the us building, I have to write letter with the CV so that they will know everything about me. Then I will send to them. So the people will then contact me because all your information will be on your CV. So they helped me. We did everything. After that, I asked, there's a friend that I asked. She told me about this Italian. She told me that because I have children, that if I want to do something, I have to do something that will be flexible, that will also help me to take care of the children. Because before I wanted to do nothing. So when I now checked it, you know, night shift and all whatnot, I was like, four children, nothing. How will I cope? How will I do it? And my children, they were still small. My first daughter then was around that kind, eight, nine years old. So you can imagine the little one, two years, three years, I still take them to kindergarten. I don't have any help. You know, abroad now, nobody to help you. So I have to divert from nursing to ATL. So I started looking for school. So I went to one school. Somebody directed me to one school. I went to that place. So they asked me if the government, if they have recognized my results. That means university result in Nigeria or my Wayek result in Nigeria. If it if they recognize it, if they will accept it in their country. I don't know of that one. I've not heard of it before. So the woman now said, okay, first of all, they now gave me form to fill. After filling the form, they told me that before I can do us building here, that I have to do language course till B2, which I did already. I have, I presented it to them. So the woman now said that my results from Nigeria, that they won't accept it. So they have to go and grade the result. There's something they call regular presidium here. So I have to send the result to regular presidium for them to grade my result to know if the level of my result is also the same level of their habitual results here before you can enter their school so what i now did is she now tell me all the things that i have to do i should send my result so i have to go google in internet i have to google and i found all the information necessary information i need the address of the regular presidium around me so i have to uh, write them that look at what i want to do that i want to send my result to them for them to grade it so within one week plus they wrote me they said i should go to the arat house you know to government office near me because each area you live they have government office around so i should go to the arat house with all my original documents all the documents i use from first school living certificate secondary school wire if you have university a degree anything you have you have to go to the rat house with it so that they will look at it and make photocopy and then stamp it that they have seen the original document before you can now go and send it back to them. So I went there, they now saw all my original certificates, they, they do uh, photocopies of them, they now stamped it. So after stamping it, they gave me back my original certificate, then I have to send 
the photocopied one they stamped already so i think i i still use money to send it to them i've forgotten how much i paid them there in rat house and the government office there then i have to send the results to them for them to grade it because normally it, it takes a lot of time before it will be ready sometimes it can take up to like one year sometimes six months sometimes four months it all depends and it depends on the person that is you know responsible for your result or the person that is going to grade it you know so you know here they are doing everything uh, with surname the person like my surname starts with o the person that is responsible for people that their surname starts with o it depends on the person if the person is fast enough you will get your result or you know they have to go and verify it's not that when you give them your result they'll just do it fast fast and send back they have to verify i don't know how they go about it or how they do their verification but they will still verify again to make sure that you're not presenting any fake document or results to them so it normally takes time so when i send my result i have to wait I now went back to the school and I told them that I think I have four months before the school will start because every school starts here in September. So I went to the lady, the lady now said, without it, I cannot start. I cannot do the house building. So I was like, oh, I said, let me hand everything to God. Only God will know if I will start that September or I have to wait the upper year, the other September to start with the house building. So I went back to the school. They told me that my result has to be their habitual. If not, I will not start because it is not ordinary us building. It's like university and together with us building because this ATA us building, there, is, there are two. So in this us building, there is one called PA and there is one called Classy Share us building. So the one I did is Classy Share us building, but it's not all the Classy Share us building that are the same. My own is quite different because my own is with um, bachelor. You know, you have to get your bachelor degree in social vision and also a TRN as us building. So it's a difficult one. So they will know your grade. If you don't have batch, uh, um, abitur, your, your result from Nigeria, it's not up to abitur. That means you have to do one year Beruf College. There's something they call one year Beruf College or you do Kinder Fliege. So that one is easy. So when my result came out, what I saw was abitur. That means I am qualified to do the hospital room. So I rushed to the school. I handed over, I handed them over all the results they need so they told me that i can start with the us building in september you know the the classic us building means it's school we are just studying every day you go to school every day you go to school you you do it for two years then your third year is practicum yeah like you go to the school that you are doing your practical then you work for one year at the end of the day you have to write your abite like berished on the whole thing you did and they will grade it and at the end of the day you come and do you have come and defend what you write that's how it's done like like defense like in nigeria now at the end of the day you write your project at the end of the day you you go and do the uh, project defense that's what we did at the end of our school you know so that's how i started the hospital it wasn't easy for me it was so challenging because you know, in Nigeria, we speak English, but here we are speaking only German. You write in German. Everything was in German. It was very difficult because from the first year, it was difficult for me. I don't really understand um, that much because of the language barrier. If I come back home, I will try to, I will try to use Google to translate most of the things I didn't understand. That was how I was doing it. The second year was better because i was like how can i do this you know people around me was encouraging me you can do it we know that you're an intelligent person just carry on you can do it i have a lot of support system everyone around me was supporting me so the second year i started understanding better then the third year was okay i did everything did my project the day of project defense i i it, it wasn't easy i did it and i passed with a flying color my result was very nice and the school cool that i did my final year practicum they retained me so i did not start looking for new job again they retained me immediately even when i was still in school they already sent me all the necessary papers i have to sign and all that so i signed them i sent them when i'm done with school they retained me i started working with them and i'm still with them 
you know so that is all you need to know about doing us building here you know there are a lot of opportunities here there is also one they call dual studio you no know, dual studio means that you work three months you go to school three months and during the time you're working they pay you that's the very good thing i found in it they pay you you can afford to pay your rent you can afford small small things you know as a student or you can also go for student loan like me i use student loan to study here in germany it's called bathroom you can go for student loan there is one if you're if you're still between the age of um, 18 to i think to 30 you will get student loan without paying back there is normal there is normal one the one that they will be giving i think 500 euros a month you will not pay back but if you want something more from 1000 plus then they have to check um, what your mother is doing or what your father is doing. That one you will pay back after university, you start paying them back. So my own, I went and they gave me student loan. So, um, after studying, I got a job immediately. Like I said earlier, they retained me and yeah, there are a lot of opportunities. If you want to go for the one, you will go and study three years and you will just get your bachelor certificate there are a lot of opportunities you know there are there are a lot of opportunities school system here is different from what i know in nigeria it's, it's practically different there is ones that you'll be studying and you also be working this one is also different from dual studio if you want to study like social pedagogy in university or you want to study kin height there are a lot of you know you know what you can study in school that is related with children you know the area that i studied so all those ones you can look for a place that you will go if you'll be going for your practical they will be paying you every month maybe three times in a week you work two times in a week you go to your university to study there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of courses here to do it's just for you to make an inquiry or you google and go to you know there is a lot of centers around uh, maybe where you live that people there will help you to advise you on what to do and what will be better for you they will also help you to write your cv eleven's love and help you to send it to different different companies or schools or depending on where you want to study area you want to study they will advise you on it so that is it that's how i studied here in germany and i got my certificate and i'm working and i thank god for everything i put a lot of effort it wasn't easy with four kids i did not give up you know the most important thing is if you have support system even if you're married and your husband is willing to help you to take care of the children sometimes when you will not come home early i believe it will help you a lot and what i believe in this life is anything you set your mind or eyes to do you can do it and you can achieve it just set your goals set your mind that this thing i'm going to do it and i know that i'll achieve it then you will achieve it don't listen to anybody don't just do your do you don't just listen to anybody or what people will say ah this woman with children what do you know you want to study this this and that or maybe go and start doing cleaning job just do you and be you focus on what you want to do go for it even if you fail just continue again because when you fail you learn from it and next time you will avoid that thing that made you fail so failure is not a bad thing failure is not a, for me i believe if i fail in doing something that means there are something i'm not doing right or there are something i'm not getting right that means i have to go back to the drawing board to go and check what did i do that wasn't okay or what am I not doing fine? Then you have to correct yourself, pick, pick the pieces of yourself together and, you know, move on, fight on. That's life. Don't give up or don't give up on your dream. Chase your dream. You will do it. If I can do it here in Germany, despite the language barrier, then you can do it. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you on my next one. Bye.